how it runs here. Take that off for a second. Quick, uh, quick clean there. Right back to the grid, right over there. All right. This is a ace pump. Model is FMC 200. I'm using this as the uh, PAT method, pompous turbine. And this is a DC 540 alternator from uh, Wim Blue. This is the power inverter here, 500 watts. It's all hooked in. I've, I've had this sitting out here for a while. Let's put it in just to get the idea of what it's supposed to do. And it runs along right over here through this extension cord right into there sending power back I don't have a meter to figure out how much I'm putting back in but when I run this at night the green lights on the back are flickering so I'm putting something back into there I just don't know how much so this is what it is very basic Straight to the point. Comes out of here. Comes up. Down. That's input. Two inch. Spins the shaft here. Output. Right here. Goes right back into the filter. All the cartridges right there and runs through. And cleans that pool right over there. As it cycles through, it'll slow down a little bit. But when it gets to the deep end of the pool, it goes a lot faster. So, this is it. Any questions or comments on it, or how you'd like to build it, you can ask me. Or, or you've got a good mind, you can probably figure it out yourself on how it's made. But, this is what it is. I haven't seen anything like this before on the market or for any pull features but uh, this is just something I put together just to try it out and see cut down on the pool expense a little for electricity and just to let everybody know this is a variable speed pump right here by IntelliFlow and it's running at full capacity right now and if you cut it down if you lower the speeds, it'll spin a lot slower, but if you're rolling at full capacity, this is your output. This is the best you're going to get out of it. I'll show everybody again, just to see how it's all together. Right here, comes up, right here, comes down, two inch port, right here, comes through. This is an inch and three quarter, comes out like this, comes back in, through the cartridges right here, sends it back out. Whatever power it produces, that's negative, that's positive, I don't bother using the pigtail, goes in this grid tie inverter, 500 watt, goes right to the side of the pool right there. This was my idea, instead of using solar, just use this here, because at night, a lot of people run their pool pumps for 6, 8, 10 hours, depending on the size of the pool, and if you have solar, it's not running at night, obviously, but this can run day or night, as long as you have the pool on. And if the power shuts off, everything shuts off with it. Nothing's sending it through or anything like that, so you don't have to worry about a, a shock hazard or anybody getting hurt. This is 
is all homemade right here. This bracket. And this this is a 12 by 12 plate here. You just gotta adjust the fit here. See it's all bolted here, bolted on the other side. But you all got the idea. If anybody can do anything like this better than what I have or something good, have at it. Just another idea to cut down on the uh, energy expenses, especially these days. Prices are not going down, they're always going up. No way fans are butts about it, and this is what one way right here. Yeah, to cut your expenses down. Any questions or comments? Anything on how I built it or what did you use? Where you get the parts at? I can answer those questions for you, no problem. Thank you.